hello guys in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how we can use this spider foot uh, this utility this is an awesome tool which uh, gives you the information about the organization and which for which you are working and for which you are you know engaged for the tool is used to gather the open source intelligence information around to more than 200 plus sources and have the integration with all of them this tool is written in python 3 and it is also provide the web gui interface we'll see all of these things but before going ahead let's see the installation phase of this tool so they are you know giving that the links to install so what i'll do i'll copy this and copy using the clone command to my opt directory i will paste this here as you can see that destination part already has so i have already downloaded this spider foot utility now i'll move to the spider foot folder and uh, anything else we have to configure or install it so after this you just need to install this python 3 requirement so pipe 3 install and hyphen r requirements this will install all the requirements which is needed to run this tool so you can see here i just copy and paste it as i have already installed these requirements so there is uh, no need to explain this after installing the requirements you just need to copy the syntax and paste it to on your screen so what it's going to do it's running this uh, python and this is your local host and this is the port number 5001 so i'll press enter see the tool has been started so if i click on http on this or i just copy this one and uh, paste it into the browser yes you can see here uh, we have successfully logged into a spider foot so here are a couple of assessments so i have to blur this area because this assessment is done with the different you know, engagements so i'll create a uh, mm, new scan and i use uh, those scan to demonstrate you that how this tool can be leveraged i can type the name here i'll type the test scan and the target which you would like to assess most probably that the website uh, which you have any organization like microsoft.com and they have the different use cases of the footprinting investigation and uh, you have the pa passive passive scanning which can gather the information passively and by the data requirements it can integrate to i think 200 plus data sources and you can see here the modules which we, which they can retrieve the data from well uh, you know for this from this ex, uh, from this website they are obtaining the information about malicious ip address involved in so they have integrations with multiple websites and without api keys so i'll what i'll do i'll select this all and put it my uh, scan target website and then i'll start this run a scan see the, right now we don't have any data and it is start populating after some time so meanwhile we will go ahead and see what are the the options are available in this so uh, here is that the module information more than 200 modules are there most of which 
don't require API keys. So for example, for example, this from the, the search, they obtain the information about the target domain. This is typically free API. As you can see and alien world OTX obtain information from alien world open threat exchange and try to gather this information from there. So they have 200 plus modules. Apart from this, they have the capabilities like uh, uh, to monitor the attack surface. If you, you will go to your website, they have the cyber threat intelligence information about the malicious IP addresses. They can give you the information about asset discovery, what are the assets are available because in nowadays most of the organization are using cloud based solutions so they are not sure what assets are exposed to the internet so this kind of tool can help to identify their publicly available assets and the security assessments as you can see that we can identify the exposed credential can identify the unattended unmanaged assets and it can also monitor the attack surface like IP addresses and email address and users information a couple of other informations which is very valuable for crafting an attack especially the personal information phone numbers post name IP address so let's see what's going on so at this point of time you can see right now it can gather the information about domain name information about the internet names malicious internet names so that's the way here you can see that gather the information about the one of the users so I'll, I'll click on that so here that the information so I'll, I have to blur this I'll go again to the browser section so this is will really start populating as long as it will gather the information use this tool to identify your foothold or your organization foothold over the internet so that you know that how the attacker can use uh, these kind of information use this tool to identify your presence over the internet and uh, from a defender perspective know what is the information is available over the internet so that any crafted attack or any targeted attacks can be mitigated or you can reduce the attack surface from the internet as well that's it in this video we'll see you in next video till then bye take care